Let me go there. All right, go ahead. Welcome. And there's Steve. The lunch menu. Ooh, a whole roasted chicken. Lunch sounds a lot better than breakfast was. Everything happens on five. The restaurants are on five. Reception is on five. Wait a second, I want to see here. This room is a science center where they have different talks every day about birds or geology. Nice polar bear skull. A photography class the other night. Workshops. The reception and excursion area plus all this is for sale. Wir zwei positive Covid-Fälle an Bord haben, die wir isoliert haben. That part of the announcement was in German. They were saying that we have two cases of COVID on board and they're being isolated. Uh, that really doesn't concern me. We do have an onboard credit, which I am going to use for the one and only excursion, I hope, that's going to go, the Kalanish Stones on the island of Lewis and Harris. And this is the Explorer Lounge where you can get a drink and uh, where all the announcements and uh, everything takes place. There is just one restaurant and they're trying to stagger dining times for everybody. I don't know if they can actually feed all 120 people at one time or not. They put everything out. It, there's no such thing as ordering a waffle or um, eggs benedict. What you see is what you get. When you enter the restaurant, they beckon you forward, take your temperature, and then you come over here and wash your hands before you head to the tables. This is deck six where our cabin is. Ooh, we're a little uh, rocky this morning. I was telling Steve, hang on, baby. Come up here to scan for wildlife. I don't have the patience. This is deck seven. I am not going out there. Deck 8 is the outdoor deck. And 3 is the tender lobby. Oh, there's a lighthouse on Fair Isle. There are lots of different lectures every single day, but Steve and I usually don't bother going to them. What I do know is that the Spitsbergen was constructed in Portugal in 2009 and refurbished in 2021. And in my estimation, they need a little bit more refurbishment. The gross tonnage is 7,344 and it has 90 cabins, capacity of 180 passengers. We've got 120. You have to use your key card to open the doors. Here we go, 64 and there's an obstructed view right here. And here are all the masks that they give you that you have to use. A room. And I'm ready to go check everything out. And this is a very obstructed view. None of that is free up there. They charge you for everything. It's an adequate cabin for what they charge. Here's a handy dandy little bathroom. All in one type shower. 
toilet and everything. Like I said, it's not a luxury cruise line, though they charge luxury prices for an expedition cruise. Oh, we know how to use these. We've done this, been there, done it many times. Plenty of outlets, good reading light, and easy to slide your luggage or unwanted items under the bed.